Hey everybody, this is Freddy Earth and welcome back to another Minecraft episode on the AlphaCraft server. Back in the catacombs today in the Patron Pals Hall of Heroes or in the secret tunnel behind the back of Bunny. Uh, back with the, the specimens, the samples that we're going to be doing some experiments on later. Now I've got to thank all of you all of the comments about the uh, about this little area uh, there have been some fantastic comments some really good suggestions hopefully I'll be able to implement some of those uh, but uh, the most of you were just telling me it was a little bit too dark and you're all right everybody was correct it was very dark so I've brined up a little bit by being able to put I'm not sure whether you can see it I've put sea lanterns behind the back of each specimen uh, and then be on top of that I've put a stair and that's given it just a little bit more light and I've also put a bit of light let me turn around what am I playing at and I've also put a bit of light down there covered it with a carpet okay so that that, that brightens it up quite a bit I did try putting different types of blocks behind the back of this especially behind the back of of the uh, the bamboo that was really difficult to see so I changed that for snow I changed it for for concrete I've changed it for dark black concrete white concrete um, all kinds of different blocks behind there I couldn't see it it was really difficult to see uh, and I found that stone was one of the best blocks to put there that uh, allows me to see it so so it's going to stay stone anywho I've got books on the front of them now at the moment there's very little in them uh, electrocuted it no and didn't do anything to it but then again you wouldn't expect it to would you not not to a plant but maybe when I start electrocuting these bad boys that might change so a couple of things I want to do today now because this is uh, a mad scientists room um, we need I need a mad scientist assistant don't I now I've, I've lost my mad assistant uh, ie Smurf he's uh, he decided to go a while ago now and I do miss him uh, so uh, what I think I'm going to do is we caught this guy while I was messing around earlier on he just wandered and just appeared so I've managed to coax him into there what I think I'm going to do is turn him back into a villager and uh, maybe turn him into my my new uh, best friend mad assistant uh, and we'll we'll talk about what I'm going to do with that in a second so firstly I guess I need to change him into a poison hello mate you're going to drown in there are you Widow, all right, so we'll throw that to you. Oh, straight away. Straight away, you're a poison. So what I'm going to do now, with a bit of luck, uh, is, is not die. I need to get a dispenser put behind the back of you, don't I? What? Are you dying? Don't die, don't die, don't die. Come out, come out, get out, get out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Why did you start taking damage? Oh, and the other thing wouldn't because it was a. Uh, it was dead. It can breathe underwater, but you can't. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. That was a close call, wasn't it? Got any blocks? Don't even have any blocks on me. Panic over. Yeah, sorry, dude. I didn't really try and drown you. That was not my intention at all. I need to change your name as well. You can't be a specimen. You're my. You're my right hand man in here, you are. Right, so let's do that water. Yeah. Oh. That's better. Get rid of that water for a second. We're gonna, we're gonna put something special in here, we are. Uh, but before I do any of that, I need to turn to turn you into a uh, into a helper you might just be in exactly the right place there we'll get in excelente if we break that and put that there and break that one oh no that was no good is it that there and then break this one so you can't get out I could really do with something here that I can crawl underneath perfect uh, so if I grab myself a bit of redstone stone dispenser 
grab a button. I've got a button. I don't have a button, but I can make a button. I'm also going to grab. Who is it? I am going to grab it in a minute. Any minute now. Any minute. Any minute now. 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 Any minute. Eh, it's there. It's there all along. A handy smoif head. If I put this dispenser just there, load it with Smurfy's head, and then stick a button on the side of it. There you go. He's got a head. Um, Smurf. There you go. So now I've got a mad assistant. Hello, mate. <laughs> That's it. You have a look around. You have a look at all these specimens you're going to be looking after. That's fantastic. Good old Smorf. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You keep an eye on all of those. Good job. Good job, Smorf. <laughs> right. Plan for today is to get to get a boo in here i want a sample i want a specimen of a boo in uh, in there all nice and simple you might think yeah right it's gonna be even more difficult on my own but hopefully i'm gonna make it easier on myself because we've now got access to the nether roof and on the nether roof i can put down uh, a platform a pad that is big enough for a gas to spawn on. Uh, it might take me a while. Oh! Bad, wasn't it? Paying attention there. But I let him out. There'd have been tears and everything. Yeah, that's what I did with the lighting. Bit of lighting, then a stair. So you can't see it from the, the back, uh, from the front, but the light does still come up. So that's, that's provided a, enough lighting, I think, for the front. So what I need to do then is I'm, I need to dig out behind the back of here four or five blocks, probably five blocks. Because when Boo comes through, if some of her is in the wall, obviously she'll come through the, uh, the portal, but she won't come through the portal and end up all the way out here she actually will come through the portal and be half this side and half this side so if half of her is in the wall obviously she'll suffocate when she's coming through so we need to dig that out a little bit i'm also going to put a bit of water here and here and that should force her to the front so she'll have a face pressed against the against here that's the plan so let me tidy this up a little bit and uh and then we'll get up on the nether roof, put down a portal, and see if we can grab ourselves a boo. Okay, so I've got uh, I've got boo's cage ready, boo's specimen tank ready. It's not going to be boo, is it? Boo's going to be in our boo's going to be put to work in our wood farm eventually, in our tree farm. Uh, so we'll call it something. I'll call it something. It's probably just going to be a specimen name or something like that. So this is the area, hopefully, that, uh, that she'll spawn into, so she won't suffocate. I've also got, and I don't know whether you can see it. Got some water there, which is going to push her to the front and hopefully stop her from spinning round. If I can get her pushed to the front like this, so her face is pressed against these panes of glass. It's not solid blocks of glass as well. It's panes of glass. Better pushed against that. She's going to be a little bit closer to the front, uh, and you won't be able to see those hopefully. Uh, if she starts turning around, you might be able to see them. Can't see the water either from the other side. And once she's in, I can then break the uh, break the portal. Come on, get out! I can break the portal uh, and put blocks behind it, so uh, so she can't go anywhere. We're, we might get pigmen in there to start with, but because I won't be name tagging the pigmen, they won't stay in there very long. Is the plan? So I've taken down the coordinates of this bad boy here. So now what I need to do is get up onto the roof of the nether. Hello, <laughs> Smurfy boy. Actually, I could probably get on, get close to the roof of the nether by going through this portal. This portal should bring me out at the main portal uh, on my uh, on my nether tunnel. 
Oh, I didn't because I went clean through it. Good. At least we know that works. Excellent. Right, so I'm hoping I've got everything I need that I'm going to need. Um, hmm, maybe I, I'm going to have to get 120 odd blocks away from the platform that's up there. Uh, because if I'm not, if I don't get 128 blocks, look, this one over there. If I'd got a smurf now and a fishing rod, we'd be golden. Uh, but if I don't get 128 blocks above the platform, everything in the nether is still going to be able to spawn, i.e. those uh, those uh, gas that you can see there. And I don't want those to spawn. I want the only things to spawn uh, to be spawning on the platform up there. So there should be a few pigmen, but there could well be a gas. So I'm going to build my platform up there. Waffling again and not doing. Build my platform up at the top. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll do a bit of AFK, see what we shall see, see if one will turn up. Hopefully one's going to turn up before I'm old and grey, but you never can tell, can you? I'll see you up there in a second. So this is what I've come up with. It's uh, it's a small platform, but it's big enough for a blaze, uh, blaze, a ghast. It's big enough for a ghast to spawn onto. Obviously, pigmen are going to spawn here too. They can't spawn onto bedrock, which is why nothing else spawns up here. They'll only spawn onto solid blocks, uh, i.e. those blocks there. So what I need to do now is get 128 or so blocks, well, 120 blocks above this and hope uh, everything around it will despawn. Hope we'll get, to, hopefully we'll get a blaze. Oh my word, if I say blaze once more, hopefully we'll get a ghast on there. Okay, I've been sat here now for ooh, half an hour or so and it doesn't look like it. Anything's going to be spawning down there anytime soon, does it? Really? So make sure I've got my elytra on. I do. One enderman down here. So we'll whiz down here. What I'm going to do then is make this, uh, make this a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm hoping that'll be. Um, Two, one, two, that'll, uh, that should be enough. I've run out of blocks, so if it's not, it's too bad. I'm also going to put a bit of a wall here. Because I hadn't thought, but when I come down initially, when I see uh, one spawn here, when I come down initially, I don't want her to start shooting, because if she does, she's going to break the glass. She might not, she won't break these, the stone slabs, but she might break the glass. Uh, and I don't want her to do that, obviously. If I put down a wall or something just there, then when I come down, I can hide behind the wall uh, and I can put this on, possibly name tag her through the uh, the portal. And that way, when she starts firing, if she starts firing, I think it's going to go awry. So now I've made that bigger, I'll get it back up on the top and uh, and see if we can get one to spawn. Oh, it's taking a lot longer than I thought. It was so much easier when you got mob bait. Big men seem to be spawning down there okay, but nothing else so far. I've not seen anything else spawn down there. Now, I know it works because, uh, because I've, I've done it before. So I know it works. I know the space down there is big enough for a, a gas to spawn in. Only needs a space of five by five. How many times have we we've been running down a, a nether tunnel that's not been completely built? and run straight into a ghast, so I know that's big enough. Excellent, finally we've had one spawn, so hopefully now I can I can jump down there without it killing me. I'm gonna call it Specimen 8000, look at that, Specimen Boo. Oh, easy boo, easy. Come on. Oh, boo, boo, boo. Reiki, right. Got her, named her. Gonna get a few pigmen through there. I'm gonna, gonna need to try and push her through the portal. So this is probably gonna hurt me more than it should, boo. 
Brilliant. Right, she's through. Now, hopefully, hopefully that's uh, not killed her. Let's break that so I don't want anything else coming through. Fellas, fellas, wish me luck. Well, I can hear her. So I guess she's here. I can see her on the map. She's on the map. I can see her on the map. If she didn't die coming through. Oh. In behind Bunny. It's a secret, by the way. Don't tell anybody. Look at that. Hello, Smorf. Why are you down here looking after Boo? There she is. Why are you but there? We need you. We need you up here, Boo. Up here, Boo. Let's go in. Okay. Better hear him scare him. I need you to be through the other side of the portal. Go on, get through. Get through, get through. Don't shoot me. Ah! <laughs> She's a feisty one, isn't she? She is! It's Boo! Hello? Hello, little fella. It's a shame that you're not banging in the middle. That's going to wind me up. That's going to wind me up, that is. Specimen 8000. Why aren't you in the middle? I'm going to work on that because I can't have you there. I want you in the middle. But we have Specimen Boo in the house. Specimen 8000. Smorf! Smorf! Where are you? Oh, there you are. Sorry, you were looking at her. Look at that. That's brilliant. Yeah, you keep an eye on them. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to... He's into everything, isn't he? Uh, I'm going to have a quick shifty then, see if I can get her in the middle. Otherwise, it is going to bug me. I should be able to. The water should be flowing uh, equally either side, so it should push her into the middle, unless she's broken a block around the back uh, when she was shooting. But, got a specimen ghast in the house. How fantastic is that? Right, so I've got her in the middle. I've had to, I, I jumped in through the back and I put down a, you won't be able to see it, but I put down a pane of glass down there. And that's, that's pretty much put her bang in the middle. Because the water's forcing her to the front, she's not turning around. If there was no water in there, she'd just... Well, she'd be looking... So she'd be in what these guys are doing. And looking everywhere, apart from him. You don't like me. You don't like me, do you? I thought we don't like Smorf. Um, so I didn't, want the, I didn't want her to be facing the wrong way, like specimen... 5268 over there. So by putting water in, it forces her to the front and uh, and hopefully that's going to stop her from spinning around. But anyway, she's in. Boo's in. Fab well, not, no, it's, it's not Boo. That's not Boo. It's Specimen 8000. Specimen. We've got to experiment on you. Sorry. So she's in. Now, um, that's all done for the time being. I think I'll leave that looking fabulous. Uh, so now I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time working on the entrance to my mine. So I've made my way to the uh, the entrance to the mine, where the mine's going to be, down in the little village that we've got behind the back of the Woodland Mansion. Look at it, this place is beautiful, I love it. Uh, and I got here, started digging out a little bit, and you know what, I thought, what will make this a lot easier? Um, and that's going to be a beacon, isn't it? It would be much, much easier to do if I had a beacon. So, instead of you watching me dig a, a diggy diggy hole for the next... 10 minutes or so what I'm going to do is uh, grab myself some with the skeleton skulls that we've got in the chests upstairs now we've found them after wild and JJ decided to hide them from me I'm going to grab a couple of those uh, get up on the nether roof with some of the eggs that Steen and Rose has collected for me uh, and I'm going to I'm going to have a bit of fun with the wither <laughs> what can possibly go wrong so I've managed to dig myself out some half decent armor and I've put uh, I put some protection on it uh, and uh, I put some breaking on it. I've got myself a Smite 5 sword because that's the best one to be fighting the Wither. Uh, and I've also got myself my Infinity Bow. So I've got, I've got my eggs, I've got my milk, I've got some potions, I've got a couple of golden apples. Uh, I might as well just show you what I've got. Uh, uh, that's, my, that's my Smite sword. Uh, I've got a decent uh, Infinity Bow. I have some golden apples or a golden apple. 
which should be okay. I've got some milk, got all my shulkers full of eggs. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to be do, with, doing with those when I get on the nether roof, but I think you can probably guess. Got myself some food. Um, so I think I'm good to go. If I've forgotten anything, then it's a bit of bad luck, isn't it, really? So anyway, I shall meet you on the nether roof. Right, I'm up here on the nether roof and I've adapted the platform where we caught the ghast uh, to uh, to make it too high so so the little chickens won't run out. You've probably guessed by now. I'm going to be harvesting nether uh, wither roses, hopefully harvesting wither roses just before I kill the wither. So uh, what I'm, I've made a, a little contraption here. It's nothing special. It's just a, a repeating clock. Once I put eggs in there, it's going to spit them out. They'll hit the block above uh, and hopefully they'll hatch into chicks. So just, I could stand here throwing them out manually, but I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to do that. So uh, let me put my dust down. Grab a couple of these. So I'll do this for 10 minutes or so. I don't know whether... Uh, whether baby chicks uh, drop with the roses. I, I've got no... I can't remember. I don't know. So I don't want to risk letting the wither out too early and just having it run around killing chickens and me not getting anything. So this is going to take a couple of minutes to get all these out. It's also going to be noisy. Uh, so uh, I'll join you back here when it's full of chickens. Okay, there you go. That's uh, that's several shelker boxes full of eggs. I've got a few more than I thought. I, I don't know how many are in there. Uh, I don't know whether this is going to help me. Entities, 440. That's including everything that's loaded in the nether below. I guess, but that's still, there's, there's still, hello mate, how did you get out of there? There's still a few in there. So I'm going to wait now until these grow up to being big chicks instead of little chicks. Uh, and then we'll create the, the wither, I don't know, maybe on the top of there. I've got to, I've got to make it far enough away. So when it spawns initially, the initial blast doesn't kill these guys to start with. Uh, but close enough so he'll notice them. Maybe I'll uh, make him a little bit further away. And then shoot him and teleport over this way and hope he comes over this way. If he, did, if he flies off another way, then I'm just going to have to chase him, aren't I? I suppose. Hello, fella. So uh, give me a minute. When these have grown up, we'll make the wither. Okay, so they were, they're pretty much all grown up now. There might be a few in there that aren't. But I know there's a lot in there because they're already starting to cram. <laughs> they're dying from, from cramming damage in there. So I know there's quite a few. So what I'm going to do is I'll... I'll set up the wither over there and I'll probably run back here and knock out this wall a little bit to let some of these guys out and then it should come over this way and then I'll uh, I'll just I'll fly out the way I'll probably TP over there out of the way let me eat a bit of steak let me get this there just to eat a bit of steak to start with hi JJ if I set it up somewhere sort of here the blast shouldn't kill them. It actually it'll see those bad boys there, won't it? That bad boy there, I should say. JJ's having trouble connecting. Bless his little cottons. If I put that there, there, and there. Okay, guys, wish me luck. I'm going to eat my apple, and then I'm going to. Uh, uh, I'm going to eat my apple once I've, I've, I've finished running around. Actually, you'll probably see me. Okay, let's go. Here we go. I'm hoping it's going to break some blocks so I can get in. Breaking many blocks, is it? Because I need to be able to run in and get on my ill gotten gains. Now, these wither skulls only seem to kill one chicken at a time. Which surprised me really. I thought they'd, uh, I thought they'd kill loads. But if I shoot at him, you see, he'll come straight over here, get really angry with me. Be really angry, really angry. these with where are all these roses 
，帮我退掉，退掉。Hello, fellas. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Enjoy the view. Won't be here long. Is he still after me? Okay, so I think we've got. To, I think all the chicks have gone now. So it's down to uh, down to me and him, mano a mano. Okay. That was a bit painful and very, very scary, and it took longer than it should have done. However, I've got myself a star. Well, actually, I'm shaking. It's been ages since I've fought the Wither mano a mano like that, and it's a good job I had a decent sword. Uh, because if I didn't have my uh, Smite 3, uh, sorry, my Smite 5 sword, uh, this could have ended up really badly but I've coped just about so <sighs> oh, deep breaths so I think we'll call it a day for today then everybody but before I go uh, let me just show you how many with the roses I've got so we've got three three and a half ish stacks three and a third stacks of with the roses which is not bad uh, and that's the first, <laughs> like I said that's the first time I fought the wither Mano a mano for a long, long time. And I'm, it was very scary, but managed to do it. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And don't forget to check out all the other alphas. They are all fantastic. This is Frilly Off, and I'm out of here. <laughs>